In this video, we're going to talk about something new called z-scores. In this example, the height of women in the U.S. is normally distributed with a mean of 63.6 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. We're going to use this information to answer some questions about z-scores. Now, before we talk about what z-scores are, let's start by labeling our normal curve with all of the information we've been given. Remember, whenever you find out that data is normally distributed, you should be able to draw this bell-shaped curve that has one peak and is symmetrical to represent any normal distribution. We know that in a normal distribution, the mean is always directly in the center. So we can place 63.6 inches, which is our mean, at the very center tick mark. Now we also know that the standard deviation is 2.5 inches. In the last video, we learned that the space between each evenly spaced tick mark represents one standard deviation. So I can label each tick mark with a height that is a certain amount of standard deviations away from the mean. So we can start by figuring out the height that is one tick mark to the right by adding on one standard deviation to our mean. So I'm gonna take 63.6 and add the standard deviation 2.5 which gives me a value of 66.1 inches. That's one standard deviation to the right. Now I can keep adding on my standard deviation to find out the next two tick marks to the right. So I'm gonna take 66.1 and add the standard deviation 2.5. That gives me 68.6 as my next tick mark, which is two standard deviations to the right. Now we have one more to fill in. So we're gonna take 68.6 and add 2.5 and that gives us 71.1 as the height that is three standard deviations to the right. Now we can do the same thing in the opposite direction, except we're going to subtract the standard deviation from the mean. So I'm gonna take my mean of 63.6 and subtract the standard deviation of 2.5, which gives me a height of 61.1, one tick mark to the left. Now I can take 61.1 and subtract again the standard deviation 2.5, which gives me 58.6 as the height that's two standard deviations below the mean. And then one more time, we can take 58.6, subtract the standard deviation again, and that gives us 56.1 as the far left tick mark. That's three standard deviations below the mean. All right, now that we've filled in everything we know so far, let's talk about what z-scores are. So our first question is saying, what is the z-score at 66.1 inches? Well, if you look up at the top, I've written the definition of a z-score. A z-score is the measure of how many standard deviations above or below the mean a data point is. So in this case, the data point we're talking about is 66.1 inches. Now, as you can see, we've already labeled 66.1 inches on our curve as one tick mark to the right of the mean. Since a z-score tells us how many standard deviations above or below the mean we are, 66.1 we can see is exactly one standard deviation above the mean. So that tells us that the z-score is positive one at 66.1. So that z-score being equal to one tells us that 66.1 is exactly one standard deviation above the mean. This is why the z-score is positive because we're talking about a data point above the mean. So any z-scores that are positive are telling us about data points above the mean or to the right, and any z-scores that are negative will be telling us about data points that are to the left or below the mean. So the next question says, what is the z-score at 61.1 inches? So this is a great example of a negative z-score because as you can see, we've already labeled 61.1, one tick mark to the left or below the mean. So since we're exactly one standard deviation below the mean, our z-score is negative one. That tells us we're one standard deviation below the mean. So our z-score at 61.1 inches is negative one. The next question says, what is the z-score at 60.3 inches? Now looking at my curve, I can see that I haven't labeled exactly 60.3 anywhere. I can figure out around where 60.3 would be. Well, I see that I've labeled 61.1 as one tick mark below or one standard deviation below, and then 58.6 is two standard deviations below. 60.3 must be somewhere in the middle here. But we can't tell exactly what value this is. We can figure out a range of z-scores to start. So we know that 61.1 is a z-score of negative one, and since 58.6 is exactly two standard deviations below, 
this has a z-score of negative 2. So we know that 60.3 has to have a z-score that's between negative 1 and negative 2. But we need to find the exact z-score. So this is where we have a formula that will help us. And our formula says that to find the z-score of any data point, we take the data point, which in this case would be 60.3, we subtract the mean from the data point, and then we divide what we get by the standard deviation. So before we try this for this question, why don't we check our formula with one of the values we're already sure about. So for example, in the last question, we already found that the z-score at 61.1 is negative 1. So let's just check this using the formula so we can see that the formula works. So if I want to use my formula for 61.1 inches, 61.1 is my data point. I'm going to subtract the mean, which is 63.6, and then divide by the standard deviation, which is 2.5. And that should give us negative 1. So let's check in our calculator. I'll take 61.1 and subtract 63.6, and then divide by 2.5. And that gives me negative 1. So we can tell that our formula definitely works. So now let's try this for... 60.3 inches. So to find my z-score, we know it's between negative 2 and negative 1. So that'll help us to make sure we calculated in the calculator correctly. So we take the data point, which is 60.3, subtract the mean, which is 63.6, and then we're going to divide by the standard deviation, which is 2.5. So 60.3 minus 63.6 gives us negative 3.3, then divide by 2.5, that gives us negative 1.32. And that makes sense because we are between negative 1 and negative 2. So that, that makes sense. Now let's do this again for another one that we don't have already labeled. So what is the z-score at 70.9 inches? Let's start by figuring out around where on our curve would 70.9 be. Well, 70.9, it's above the mean, so we're going to the right. And it looks like 70.9 would be a little bit below our thir third tick mark to the right. So for three tick marks to the right of the mean, we know that 71.1 is a z-score of positive 3 because it's three standard deviations above. And then we know that 68.6 is a z-score of 2, two standard deviations above. So 70.9 should be between 2 and 3 if we use our formula. So let's check it out using our formula. So we're going to do z equals our data point, which is 70.9, minus the mean, which is 63.6, divided by our standard deviation, 2.5. And we should get a number between 2 and 3. So 70.9 minus 63.6 gives us 7.3, and then we divide by 2.5. That gives us 2.92, which is in between 2 and 3, and it's very close to 3. So what that z-score tells us is that 70.9 inches is 2.92 standard deviations away from the mean.